My name is Megan Arnold. I'm Sarah Arnold. And this is our transformation. I'd like to start with the fact that I have always been overweight. In my mind, it wasn't like morbidly obese. I thought I could still fit in clothes, everything's fine. I felt okay. I was always fought with it back and forth through high school and then through like all of my, all of my 20s. And I was up and down and up and down and up and down and I would go on like Weight Watchers or diets or this or that or the other. So I would go down a little bit, come back up, go down a little bit, come back up. And it kind of got to the point where I was tired of not liking myself. So I just at one point decided I'm just gonna embrace who I am and I'm going to love myself. And so just in little baby steps, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna wear tank tops this year because it's hot and I'm not gonna hide my arms anymore because they're my arms. And after I learned to love myself, then it got to the point where I was like, I love myself enough to honor myself by taking care of myself. And then that's when I started to seriously get into nutrition and try and learn things, but it wasn't until I met Matt that I learn to hone that skill on nutrition and especially exercise. When I played high, uh, sports in high school, um, I was always kind of thin from that, but I've always been up and down with my weight. I never really had much of a problem with it, and I honestly never really thought I was that big. But, you know, obviously looking back on pictures over the last, I'd say, two years, and I, you know, just kind of looking at yourself in pictures and you're like, wow, I didn't realize I was that big. I just kept buying sizes that were larger and larger and larger you know that would fit. We've tried, I mean we've been together for about three years and we've tried a bunch of different things together. Um, we've tried going vegan, we've tried um, you know other weight loss apps and counting calories and all of this stuff and it would always last for like a couple of months for us and then it was like it, there was just no passion behind it. You know and one of the hardest parts I think for us was we quit smoking which was a great uh, you know we we decided we wanted to be around for 14 extra years you know, um, together, and so we quit smoking. Well, of course, we also gained a lot of weight because instead of smoking, we were eating or, or whatever. And so, um, at that point, we decided. I, I think it was actually the day we quit smoking. We went to a gym in town and got a membership. But it, it, it was kind of like we. I think we lost a little bit of weight, but we, of course, knew nothing about what we were doing. And in addition, I also have fibromyalgia, so working out was really scary for me because I was afraid. Well, what if I mess up and do something wrong and then it puts me into some kind of a flare, flare up. up. So she met our trainer now, which she mentioned before, and um, he's really changed our life in a lot of ways. You know, I think that initially we were like, okay, so we're going to work out with a trainer, so we're going to pay all this money and we're, better. And we're going to do it because we paid the money. Like, yeah, so we pay all this, this money for this trainer and that's going to be our motivation. The, mo the, the money right. is going to be the motivation. But the great thing was, though, she started working out with Matt um, before I did. She actually started about a month before me. One of the great things about, I guess, our training experience, or I think what really made the difference for us was he offered a lot of nutrition advice. He basically said, here's your meals, and these are the types of things that you should be eating. These are kind of the portions. Well, and, and I really love to cook, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to eat just, like, chicken and rice. And we did do that initially. We did because we were afraid of making mistakes. But every t then we would like text our trainer Matt, and we she would because she cook she does the cooking. <laughs> but she w you know would like text Matt and say, hey, can I substitute this for this, or will this be okay? And one of the amazing things is you know he's always said losing weight or getting fit is eighty percent of what you eat. And of course I'm like yeah okay. Well for the first month I mean she started eating healthy and because she cooks all of our food. I was like, eat, I was eating healthy as well, and I lost, I think, six pounds just for eating healthy in one month. I didn't do anything different. I think having a personal trainer who, and at the beginning of our sessions, he did, um, you know, evaluations of where we were and what we could do and how we lived and all these things. He talked to us a lot about nutrition, but he said to me, he said, I will be there and I will give you 100% if you give me 100%. He said, you need to treat this like your second job. He was like, if you do that, I will do everything I can to help you reach your goal. And you know, I was like, if you hold up your end, I'll hold up my end, and I have. It's been six months now, and, you know, I can text him any time of the day, and, you know, I found this recipe, what do you think? And he'll be like, it looks perfect, or he'll be like, substitute this for this, or, you know, um, you know, that one's not all that great, or um, all of those things. I can text him, and, you know, there was a point where I'm almost I'm so close to being 50 pounds down and hitting that under 200 milestone. Um, and I asked him, I, my weight loss sort of started to slow, but my inches were still going down. But I want to hit that weight milestone, even though weight isn't the most important thing. We really more have a body fat percentage goal. 
um, because we're lifting weights and building muscle. But I said, is there anything, my, my weight loss started to slow even though my inches didn't. And I said, is there anything else I can do? Do I need to change my food? You know, uh, just having that direction with Matt and I think us becoming friends over the course of these six months, um, like he's just as invested in our, you know, success as we are. Money was the motivator at first and we thought, you know, paying all this money is what's going to keep us motivated to do this. It's not anymore. It's, you know, it, it took probably three weeks before we felt like we weren't going to die after every workout. And then when that happened, I was like, oh my gosh, things are changing. And I think like a month in, I, we were doing a lot of like cardio plus weightlifting to get my stamina up so I could lift more um, and like break through the next level and like break through a plateau. And I ran a mile on the treadmill by myself. Nobody told me to do that. And I haven't run a mile since I was like in eighth grade. And, I mean, it was a 15 minute mile, but it was a mile. <laughs> and I think for anyone out there today that's like, you know, what can I do? You, this is a cool story and you guys seem to be doing well, but what can I do? The first step really for me would be go to a gym in your area and talk to the management and you know talk to the trainers there if they offer trainers find a gym that wants you to succeed that's what happened for us we found not even the gym i mean we've worked out in backyards i mean it doesn't matter find somebody that wants you to succeed that someone has who cares someone who's like i want you to meet this goal and you'll be able to tell that that someone cares about what your end results are and, and as well as remember that end results aren't always what's super important I remember that when I was doing any of the other like nutritional diets or workouts or things that I found you know videos DVDs all these things I just kept thinking about how far away from my goal I was and how there were all these other people who only had 20 pounds to lose and you know all of these things and and I just all I could think about was my end result and you know starting here has made me appreciate all the mini goals like uh, to you know the first time I had to throw away a pair of pants because they were just far too large um, the first time I was able to lift more than like 20 pounds the first time I, I did a bench press you know and right. this really big buff guy came up and he was like you get that bench press and I was like I'm getting it thanks you know and you know now it's my under the 200 milestone and uh, but which isn't any, anywhere near, I, I believe, what my goal is going to be. But all of those little mini successes are really what keeps you going. And, and I remember my end goal and the things that I want to achieve, but I also need to remember what's happening right now. For more great transformation videos, please be sure to visit ASF TV.